First of all, thanks to all my Patreon supporters for their insane support they are providing. And this video is sponsored by my patrons. Thank you very much, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second part of our ATM episode. Uh, so here we are in our world. Uh, when we press E, we are interacting with the ATM. Um, and if I can remember correctly, we did set up uh, the third person character and the variable for the money, as you can see. Uh, in the third person character, we have the money variable, which is perfect. Okay, so right now, uh, since it's a uh, single player game, what we can do is we can simply just cast to the third person character um, and get some, for example, if I would make a custom event here, stay with me, so add money, for example, and I like uh, set money, uh, and I get my money, add it, and for example, if I made something like this, right, uh, and then I have the add money um, node, so if I want to use this in the ATM, I could just simply cast to the third person character. Um, I will just show you the example, but we're gonna go through more examples as well. So here in the ATM, what I could do basically to get this uh, node that I just create here, so this custom event, what I could do is just simply uh, cast to third person character, and this would be completely fine in the single player game where you have only one character. So get player character, and as BP third person character, I will promote it to variable. So this would be my reference. So from this variable, I could just uh, get uh, add money. And on interact, for example, if I would do it like this, and let's say I want to add 15 money per every interaction, I can test if that works by just print string and I'm gonna be printing the money. So let's see how this works. If I press E, as you can see, my money is increasing. So this basically works, but you can also use the interfaces to, for this to work, right? Okay, uh, also you probably noticed that the, the, the money is not updating and there is a good reason for it. So. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, delete this for now, because we're going to use the interfaces, of course. So let's make another interface. Uh, here we have a folder with interfaces. Uh, let's call this uh, interface, sorry, not there, blueprint interface, and call it BPI Money Manager. So in this interface, we will set up some functions. This function is going to be add money, and we're going to also have remove money. Just like that. So right now, if we go to our BP third person character in the class settings, we can find BPI money manager and just implement it. And now you're going to see we have remove money and we have add money. So when we want to remove money, we want to set money, right? And uh, now we, um, we will just uh, get our money and remove it. No, no, sorry, not this, just subtract. Not remove, subtract. And that's going to be our new money. But now we have a problem. So now here in our remove money, we need input. So let's give it an input in money manager in remove money. Let's give it an input of money. Let's make it a float. So it matches our variable for the money. And now if we refresh this node, as you can see, we have money and we can connect it right there. So why is this important? Well, now when we want to call remove money, we will see we can uh, put how much money we want to remove exactly. Like that. Let's now do the add money. It goes the same, just 
get money, but here we're gonna add it. Uh, and also set money, like that. But also we need to add the input for the add money, which is also going to be of type float, also money. So this goes here. So we have our money manager basically working, but we also need to update the UI. So here, when we go to our UI, we have VB main, we have uh, something that's called update money here. So what we can do here is we can basically get a reference to this VB main. So here at um, the main menu, what we can do here is we can promote this to a variable. So what we are doing here is basically we are promoting this for, to a variable, this VB main, and then we are going to be able to use it as a reference. So VB main underscore reference. And basically right now we're going to have our reference. And what this does is we're going to be able to take this, this event. So right now when we add money, I'm going to be able to get my reference and I can just update money. Perfect. So that's all to it. Very simple. Uh, of course, we are going to need to do some changes here in the future to make it when the player has a zero money to basically tell him he has zero money and he cannot remove the money from the bank. Okay. So that's good. So here on event interact, we will need to create some simple UI. So we need another UI. Let's create user interface, widget blueprint, and let's make VB ATM. This ATM UI is also going to have a canvas, of course. And inside of this canvas, we can put some border just for the background image, right? And we can make this border anchor to everywhere. So whole size and offsets all to zero. And we can make it something like how you would imagine your bank to look like. We can put some text here, uh, make it to put it in the canvas panel so you can move it around. And this thing, text could be, I don't know, um, local bank, something like this. This will work fine and make anchor it to the top. So right now, uh, let's also make a quick button here. That's going to be a button so we can leave the bank. Uh, and it, let's add some text to it. Close or exit, whatever you like. I will put close and I'm gonna size to content this button. There you go. Okay, perfect. Uh, so right now we need to show this when we interact with the ATM. And uh, how are we gonna do that? Well, on interact, we're going to create a widget. This widget will be ATM. And we're going to add it to viewport. Simple as that. So let's do it. That works. But we also need to get our player controller and do some stuff to it as well. So get player controller. And we can set input UI only, and let's uh, sh set show mouse cursor. So you want to show mouse cursor as well, just like that. And now let's see if I press E. Uh, nothing happens, of course, because uh, <clears throat> we need to add the functions to the button. So for the blood for the button, we can just call it close button and on clicked I'm just gonna remove 
remove from parent. And as you can see, that works. But also, we need to set show. Uh, we need to again get our player controller here, and we need to set show mouse cursor. And we need to also set input game on. So that should work. Let's see how that works. Perfect. Uh, also, show mouse cursor needs to be off, of course. Let's see. I close it, and I. I'm uh, fine. Close. Everything works. Perfect. So la one last thing that we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna show our balance here. How are we gonna do that? Very simple. Okay, so here we can make another text. Bring it to the canvas panel. And we can put it really when wherever you like. I'm gonna anchor it to the top and I can put this a little bit down. And now let's reset the positions. And also let's align it 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so it's in the middle. And let's call this money. That's where our money is going to be shown. So that's basically going to be our balance, balance text. Just like that. So now, before we open the ATM, so let's see where we are creating it we are creating it right here when we create our atm on the start i want it to update the balance status so i can create new custom event so we don't uh, make it all in the construct we can just make the event call it setup balance on creation for example you can name it better so get balance text and now we need to insert uh, we need to get set text right but here we need some variables so we're gonna format this text to show uh, first dollars and then curly brackets money so we get the new node and now as you can see we just need the reference for the money so there is a lot of ways to do it we can cast to the third person character but let's do it with the um, with the interfaces when we already started. So let's call this um, money status, and we're gonna have output that's gonna be money. So now, money status, you're just gonna be get money and connect to the money. That's it. That's really all it is. And now here in the ATM, uh, um, here in the ATM, we just need this uh, money status. And here we will just like that, like that, and get player character. And that's our money. Let's see how that works for us. I have hundred dollars. Oh, we didn't uh, basically plug it in. So set up balance on creation like that, and now it should ha show hundred, and it's showing hundred. So our ATM is oh, our ATM is now working, which is great. So as you can see now, we just need to add some functions to add money or uh, withdraw money. Uh, whatever you like you can put a lot of stuff here but uh, i'm gonna leave that for the next episode uh, for now we just set up the ui and some interfaces so see you in the next episode guys have a good day